Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Art and Soul with Michelle. Um, today I'm going to do a flip through on this book which I've just got from Amazon, The Story of Pandora. Um, those of you who follow my channel and Facebook and stuff will know how much I love these Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Asian style colouring books. They're just something else, but they're quite often quite hard to get hold of. So when I saw this on Amazon, I thought, woohoo, let's have a bit of that. Um, I'll put a link to it down in the description box. Uh, you can also get this on Etsy and um, there's a few sellers have it on there. Um, I'm just trying to have a blank moment. Oh gosh, that's not a good start to a video, is it? Anyway, let's have a look. The Story of Pandora, a fantasy colouring book by Kim Sun Hyun, illustrated by Song Jim Jin. Try saying that after a couple of gin and tonics. Um, this is actually the story of Alice in Wonderland, White Rabbit. Um, so don't be misled by the title of the book um it's one of those gorgeous soft feel books that you get with um i don't know whether you can see there nice shiny accents on the some of the the writing and and the bits and pieces in it um it's got these french fold out pages. A magical, mythical world full of strange creatures and dreamlike landscapes awaits you in this stunning colouring book. Wow! Um, leading art therapist Kim Sun Hyun understands the deep philosophy of using art to heal, focus or simply escape from the stress and pressures of everyday life. In the story of Pandora, animals wearing fancy clothes and flowers full of magical powers sprawl across the pages for you to bring to life with your coloured pencils, felted pens, paints or any other tool you choose. It's a delicate, delicate, whimsical journey through a fairy tale world that will leave you relaxed, comfortable and convinced of the power of colouring. I have to say guys, I agree with that. So, um... Yep, let's dive in. The first page is the dedication page with this really super, super fine line art. I don't know if you can see that there. It's got a little flamingo on it. So very fine line art. The story of Pandora. And the thing with these um, Korean books in particular is that when you get them, they lie flat properly so that you can um, really, you know, they're very uh, easy to use. I'm having problems with my words today, Guy, I'm sorry. Um, this is published by St Martin's Press. Um, this is the Korean version. Uh, on the first page here we've got a, a copy of the the cover image there so you can use that to influence your colour in there. Um, then there's an author's note, relieve your stress through the joy of colouring and a, a little bit about that and some tips on colouring freely and doing away with the rules. It's always good to have that reminder actually because you know we do get a bit hung up. And then we get into this gorgeous imagery. I'm going to try and zoom you in a little bit guys so you can see better. Um, I don't know whether that's going to actually help. So yeah, this is Pandora or Alice and the little white rabbit there. There's a lot of white space in this book there, so you can, you know, draw your own if you want to and continue on the theme 
that started on the other page um, and, and make that very much your own. The same with this, lots of white space on it, little white rabbit and lots of birds and unusual sort of magical little plants and flowers and there's a deer there with some balloons and it is quite intricate. It, it, I mean it's not a um, big marker pen type book. <laughs> uh, then you've got the prologue of the story in here with the, the white rabbit and his, his little watch and some bizarre flowers and plants and then again another version of the cover image and the playing cards. Um, it is a bit off the map because this is a forest scene and there is a porpoisey type thing so you have to sort of sit there and think well is this an underground or what's going on and in this case Alice has some horns made out of twigs and there's a fish make of that what you will um, again we've sort of got this underwater theme going on but we've got birds so it, it's it's definitely keeping in the theme of Alice in Wonderland and that slightly psychotropic effect um, another fish in here and Alice falling and she's obviously gone into a dreamland here on a um, on a little carousel horse and there's some sweets and things and the paper in this is really nice um, it's quite smooth I'm not sure it'll take water-based media very well but it'll be perfect for coloured pencils definitely um, there's the good old dodo sat there and the pelican um, so you do keep finding little references to Alice in here and this is such an Alice page drink me, eat me, um, lots of bottles to practice colour and glass and and cakes and, and biscuits and things on there so lots of places to test out your, your colour and skills on that one. Another little drink me here and Alice's hand. Merlin, no oh, it's not, it's magic. Another cat. Uh, <coughs> Magic. He's gone in the drawer. Sorry guys, in the bottom of my colour and thing. Um, so yeah, just lots of very interesting, unusual things to colour, different shapes, lots of things to to work on in terms of light and shade and um, highlights so that there's lots of opportunities to really push the boundaries of your colouring in this book I think. Um, lots of plants. Flamingos! I like flamingos! Lots of flamingos! Lots of mushrooms. Some Salvador Dali type clocks in here. on a pocket watch there. Tea time. This, is that meant to be with that whaley thing again? And there's a pig in this one so um, yeah that's the the piggy footstools from the the Queen of Hearts castle. Are we gonna see the Cheshire Cat? That's the thing. Lots of teapots and china and nice cups to colour. Back to the white rabbit. The playing cards painting the roses red.
Alice having a, a dream again and the epilogue of the book. Lots more nice mushrooms and the white rabbit and Alice in a boat. And then some interesting things on uh, <coughs> how colouring can uh, provoke your senses and creative activity relieves stress. And so there's a, a bit of a write up in the back for that sort of thing if it interests you. Um, and the story of Pandora in thumbnails. So you get these cute little thumbnails, <coughs> much like the Joanna Basford books and the Kirby Roseanne books. Um, and they're pretty, but I'm never quite sure what to do with them. So, and a couple of pages at the back for drawing your own thing. So it's an unusual take on Alice in Wonderland. Um, just bits and pieces of the story and the imagery from that. And how you choose to interpret it and what you want to add to it. And you could really make this book your own. So I'm looking forward to colouring that and perhaps adding some bits into it and uh, we'll see where that goes. So that's the story of Pandora, a fantasy colouring book by Kim Sun Hyun and illustrated by Song Game Jin. And I hope that's been of some use to you um, when you're planning to buy this book. If you already have it, let me know in the comments what you think of it and how you've coloured it. Um, and when I get round to doing that you'll see some pictures of it on Instagram um, if you like this give it a thumbs up and a, a share um, don't forget to subscribe there's lots more to come and hopefully we'll see you soon take care for now guys bye